Following the resuscitation of uniformed voluntary organizations in Lagos State public primary and secondary schools, students have been participating actively in the activities, a development that now enables them to make good use of their energy and time for productive ventures. To ensure that the aims and objectives of the resuscitation of these clubs are continually achieved, the Lagos State Ministry of Education organized a seminar for teachers who are members of these clubs. In an interview with Education Report on TV, the director of co-curricular services, Mrs. Omobola Babs Akinyeye, was of the opinion that these clubs are veritable tools for instilling moral values as well as patriotism in the students. They need to learn the rope for each club. For example, the Red Cross. The Red Cross people, they are mostly first aid when there are emergencies. Those are part of it. They are going to teach them. For them to need to teach as children in case there's any emergency. The scouts, they like to make the children to be proactive. I mean themselves. That's why they, their motto is be prepared. So those things, those virtues to the teachers who transfer to the children, which will guide them later in life. I expect that um, all, all our students and, and children in primary and, and secondary schools we who belong to those clubs can, can feature anywhere in the world because they have the same thing all over the world. Red Cross, Scout. If you are Scout in Nigeria, you go to America, you are still Scout. And again, for these children to learn uh, positive virtues and to deplete the number of uh, miscreants on the road. The voluntary clubs that took part in the seminar include Girls Guide, Boy Scout, Boys Brigade, Red Cross and Sheriff Guard. If you look at all the voluntary organizations that Lagos State are involved with, they are disciplined organizations. And they want to make our students to be a disciplined student. We intend to achieve it by training teachers so that when they go back to the, their schools, they will be able to train these children. My expectation about this workshop stroke seminar is very high because I know that I'm going to make an impact in the life of the teachers. And they in turn will affect the life of the students. We want to teach ourselves, that is training the trainers. So before the school resume, definitely the teacher will know the right to teach the boys under the scout mission statements. Our expectation is to change the children because this is just catch them young program. Because by the time the children who have been taught what is scouting is all about, definitely we will see changes in the boys and girls. You know, they said build the youth is build the nation. Definitely by the time we now talk to the youth or what to do, the don'ts and the don'ts of the organization, definitely it will change their life to better. The workshop is very important because after learning everything we have here, we have to go back to the schools to retrain our teachers. The teachers will now train the pupils on how to give first aid in case of emergency. That's the purpose of Red Cross. Then we teach them how to do little, little things at home in order to prevent accidents. Even at home, on the road, at school, wherever you are. You know, accident can happen anytime. But if you are a Red Crosser, you will have learned some basic things. Parents and guardians have been urged to encourage their children and words to become members of these clubs as the state government has made it mandatory for pupils and students to belong to at least one of the clubs.